telephone stereo headphones that are offered. There are seven, seven different models. I'll click on the listening first stereo headphones and that takes us to the product page. This is as deep as you can drill down for a product and this product page is the most comprehensive up-to-date source of information for everything pertaining to this particular product. The way this page is laid out, it too is in three columns. Center column showing a picture of the product itself, often worn by a, a student or shown how it's used in the classroom. The left-hand column explains in more detail about the product, either how it's made, where it's used, what its particular features are. And then the MSRP price, in this case the Listening First headphones are sold in three colors, and that's what that is. Below that are some suggested related products. If you're looking for a stereo headphone for a young child, you may be interested in the animal-themed Listening First headphones as a related product, or perhaps a mouse or a keyboard, etc. The right-hand column of the product page begins with a teacher report. Below that is a product comparison chart. What this does, I'll click here. What this does, if you're interested in stereo headphones, this is a nuts and bolts view of the entire line of stereo headphones and here they all are listed along the top of the page. And then on the left hand column you'll see beginning with the MSRP extending down all of the different features or specs and this way you can compare apples to apples across the entire line. So to return to the page that we first came from there are two ways to do that. The first there's a hyperlink right here you can see or go to the upper left hand column and just hit the back button. So here we are again at the same page. I'm going to scroll down, and the next section in the right hand column is the specification sheet. This is a downloadable PDF that you can print out and take with you, make notes on, and it summarizes all the relevant information on that page. Again, lists features, specs, and it showcases different aspects of that product. Below the spec sheet are blogs which relate to that product and as we saw with the stereo headphones if you see an arrow such as this it says that there are more blogs available for you to read which relate back to the listening first headphones. So if I click on that you can see there are many many more blogs to read each one talking about a different facet, a theme, a feature, in some way uh, which relate back to these headphones. So as an example, I'll click on, for instance, this one, labeled, Does Ear Cup Size Matter? And this blog talks about the importance of understanding how ear cup size relates to cutting out ambient noise which is important so that students don't feel the need to turn up the volume on their headset and risk damaging their hearing. <clears throat> you can see there are different links within the article, different products it relates to, and at the very bottom in this case we can see that's part of a series of articles about headphones and headsets. So I'll click that and sure enough, here we are. These are eight, nine articles about headphones and headsets. Cords, plugs, stereo, mono, ear cup size. So enough detail about that, but it shows how the blogs relate back to the product page. I'll hit the back button once, and then a second time we return to the listening first headphones. Beneath the blog section, if there is a video relating to that given product, we'll see that here. So we click on that and 
appearing in this separate window is our YouTube video relating to listening first headphones. We won't listen to it in great length, but it goes into detail exploring features about the headphones. The listening first series of, oh, we've heard enough of him. So returning to the product page, we'll see the case study, if there's one relating to that page or to that product. We click on it, and as I said, it explores in greater detail how the listening first headphones, in this case, helped a school in South Carolina boost the English literacy skills of some of its students. It's available for you to read as well as a PDF for you to print, make notes on, take with you, and again, just to, to help. I won't wait for it to finish loading. But back to the case study page, back again, and here we are. We also have a, an extended amount of FAQs relating to any given product. And if you click on the question, the answer appears right below it. And just as with the blogs or with other products, when you see this arrow, it says there are other FAQs or items relating back. So just click on that and here you are. And then finally at the bottom, you can click here and be taken to where the listening first headphones appear in the current Caliphone catalog. And that will be in the PDF version. So that's the detail about the product down to the product overview and ultimately to the product page itself. The blog section of Caliphone.com similarly laid out in three different sections. There's often a poll here too. Similarly, the catalog information on the right hand side. Another case study, there could be more teacher reports, but the, the bulk of it is centered around this center column. This is a chronological listing of the most recent blogs that we've posted an introductory sentence and you can click to read the rest of the blog itself. This one introduces an upgraded CD player along with a supporting video. The blogs can be sorted in a number of different ways by product category there's another recent update summarizing what's in the center column. Scrolling down in the left column, you can see the calendar. There are days that are bolded. Those are days which a blog was posted. And there's an archive that enables you to see by year blogs that were posted. Click the green plus sign and you Break down the blogs appearing in each month. So for February, as an example, we click that. And you can see there are four pages of blogs posted in February for you to read. That's the blog section. 